Looking cool in Destiny 2 has become the norm for a while now. So much so that Bungie will periodically showcase your character when they come across a cool looking guardian on Bungie.net or their Twitter page with all of the armor and transmog options that we currently have available in Destiny 2. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna go over the transmog system in Destiny 2 for 2023. And this video is pretty much aimed at all beginners, you know, all those kindergartians or those people that don't really understand how the transmog system actually works or those who are trying to learn it for the first time because, well, it can be a little confusing. In order to transmog armor, you will need a synth weave template and each class has their own specific synth weave template. So we are gonna start our journey by heading down to 801 in the tower. Once we get to Ada, you will see that she has three options to choose from, but what we want to focus on is the bounties. Ada will have five different bounties, one for each playlist, which include the Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit. Then she'll also have one for destinations, and the last one will be for raids and or dungeons. Go ahead and pick any one that you are willing to complete, and they actually cost 10,000 Glimmer each. Now, you can grab more than one, or if you only want to do a certain activity, just like only Vanguard bounties, then you can grab the same bounty one at a time and get another after you have completed the first one. While doing the bounties, there will be different objectives for you to complete in order to get armor synthesis materials times 100. And the bounty will tell you what you need to do after you actually buy it. Once you complete the bounty, then go ahead and make your way back to Ada's location and head towards the loom. This is where you will deposit your 100 synth cord and get your class specific synth weave template. For warlocks, this template is called synth weave bolt. Once you have acquired your template, you will not see it in your inventory anywhere, but you will have it. Next, go to your character screen Hit the down arrow and go to appearance customization to configure your character. Here, you want to choose whatever piece of armor that you want to actually transmog that is not an exotic and hit X if you're on PlayStation or A if you're on Xbox and then whatever key it is for PC. Once you do that, the shader and armor option will come up on the screen and then you want to hover over the armor piece and you will see the options for ornaments that you have unlocked as well as the ones that you still need to unlock. Go ahead and look for the armor ornament of your choosing and then preview it if you want or if you know exactly which ornament you desire, then go ahead and hit the corresponding button to unlock it. Once you unlock the armor, it will show up on the first page of the unlocked ornaments, then you can apply it. Alternatively, you can actually buy Synthweave templates in the featured section in the store. Once you click on view offers, you will be presented with two offers, a single Synthweave template for 300 silver or five Synthweave templates for 1000 silver. You can also go to the seasonal offerings and get a Season of Defiance starter pack. In this starter pack, you get an exotic ghost, an exotic ship, an exotic sparrow, and two synth weave templates. Additionally, in the archive section of the store, there will be a victory over the vault bundle, which will give you two shaders and five synth weave templates for only 500 silver. Now, I understand I said for only 500 silver, because not a lot of people like spending money, actual money, on games. Hey, it's up to you. You would have needed to complete the Vault of Glass back in season 14. If you didn't beat Vogue in season 14, this will not show up in the archive section of the store. However, it is possible that Bungie may change this over time, or they may have already changed it. You're just gonna have to see for yourself. There are a few important things to note when it comes to transmogging armor. First, you can only transmog 10 pieces of armor per class a season. 
You can see how many armor pieces that you have already transmogged by going to Ada and hovering over the bounties that she has. This will be shown above the glimmer and it will stay seasonal, whatever your class is, bounties completed, and whatever the number of 10 is. Not sure why Bungie put this limit, but uh, unfortunately, that's what they did. Next, all armor and ornaments will not show up in the transmog system unless you have already acquired or purchased them. And lastly, if you have an armor piece that you want to transmog that is equipped, you will need to unequip it for it to show up in the transmog system. So I hope this video helped you guys out in all of your transmog frustrations. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.